All right. Hello, everyone. So I'm glad you got done with your vocabulary. Now we are going to do our grammar. So if you would please grab your supplies. We need your um, reading and grammar notebook, your little plastic folder, your scissors and glue, and something to write with. I'll go ahead and get the camera going. You get your things. All right. So here are the items you need. So I'm going to move these things off. And I'm going to open up my envelope here. And we have one that says adverb. I'm going to tear that one off. Okay. All right, so since we're working in adverbs, we're going to go ahead and cut around. And then we have to cut these little doors right here. this garbage here. I'm going to return it. Okay. So now we're going to go into our grammar. And then yesterday we wrote some things about adverbs. So we're just going to glue this on the page next to it. All done with our glue, so let's screw that back down. Okay, so we have our little paper with adverbs. It says an adverb is a word that describes a verb. So it describes how, when, where, and how often. That says that on, on the side there. So on this one, it says to circle the adverbs and underline the verb that the adverb describes. And then under the flap, we're gonna write a sentence with a different adverb to describe the same verb. So it's kind of like the puppy quickly ate his dinner. We could say the puppy ate his dinner inside. So first we're gonna look for our verb, the puppy quickly ate his dinner. Who ate his dinner? Puppy. What's the puppy doing? He ate. So we're gonna underline our verb. Okay, how did he eat? He ate. Quickly. Okay, go ahead and circle quickly. All right, then we're going to lift this up. Maybe we could say the puppy ate, that's our verb, his treat in the back yard. That's where he went to eat it. So he ate. Where did he eat? The backyard. Okay, so we underlined our verb and we circled our adverb. Okay, go ahead and pause if you need a little bit more time. Remember, we talked about how much faster it is for me to write because of I'm older and I've done this before. So you 
it'd be better for you to take your time to do it the right way so you only have to do it once. That's a big thing. All right, the next one says, tomorrow we will go grocery shopping. Who will go gro grocery shopping? We. What will we do? We will go. When are we going to go? Tomorrow. Okay. So now we're going to take the same idea and the same verb, go, and we're going to make a new sentence. We will go to the store in the morning. Okay. What are we going to do? We are going to go. When are we going to go? In the morning. Okay, go ahead and get that copied down. Okay, pause if you need to. Number three, I often walk to school on nice days. Who walks to school on nice days? I. I often do what? I walk. When do I walk? Um, often. Okay. On cloudy days, I walk quickly in case it rains. Okay, on cloudy days, I walk quickly in case it rains. So I'm still walking. And how do I walk? I walk quickly. Okay, so again, here are your three sentences that we added. Underline your verb, circle your adverb, underline your verb, circle your adverb, underline your verb, circle your adverb. Go ahead and pause if you need to. And then you can see what should be circled and underlined on this page. All right. So that is all you have to do in your grammar today. Let me find your faces real quick. So that's all we have to do in our grammar today. Make sure you have everything that we've done so far glued into your book because when we do come back to school, hopefully in a couple of weeks, you need to have everything in here. And I don't want you to have to spend, you know, any any time that could be your special, you know, free time or outside time catching up on things that we've already done. So make sure you have it all finished up. And um, I will see you um, over in our math lesson. Oh, um, maybe I'll see you in our read aloud too. It's up to you which one you go to next. <laughs>